Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SE R-Line Black Edition. This particular one is Oryx White Pearl Effect on the exterior with Titan Black Leatherette on the interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED tail lights, turn signals and reverse lights, black roof rails, 19 inch alloy black wheels, black accents, body colored paint below the black accents, both on the doors and the rear bumper, faux blacked out exhaust tips on the back, a chrome bumper dillo. It says Tiguan right here below the new Volkswagen logo right there. SE off to the left corner and the four motion badge off to the right. That means all wheel drive. Nice oversized reflector on the back there. And again, black roof rails, the R-Line badge right here on the door panel and black mirror caps keyless access on the front two doors and as we open this up here nice fancier stitch now on the inset and the door panel here a contrast stitch here and also on the arm pad here this is leatherette padding right there and also up here it's a carbon fiber type pattern up here on the door panel that continues into the other door after the, the glove box right there and into the door there's your door insets there that contrast stitch also continues on the seat right here the armrest in the center and the seats in the back black headliner along with that giant panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade also trimmed out in black as we climb in here Volkswagen's digital cockpit right here with the three screens set up there's your your uh, tachometer screen there's a blended screen there's a speedo screen a speedometer uh, I particularly like the blended screen right there Capacitive touch on a steering wheel with this gloss piano black on each of these panels here Piano black down here at where the R-line insert is at the base of the steering wheel flat silver finish on a three-spoke setup here with the new Volkswagen logo in the middle It's a telescoping steering wheel. I can pull out push in raise it lower it lock it where I want Automatic headlights over here coin box for storage right here stainless steel pedal caps down here. You can see those there There's a look at the socks there as well power lift gate off to the side here I can lift up on that guy right there contactless pickup is super easy and lift up and hold being this is an all-wheel drive unit that will work if it's a front-wheel drive unit that will not work nice flat dash up here except for right here of course where the instrument cluster is a little storage bin right here in the middle lots of visibility out the sides here There you go. And then around to the other side there. Lots of visibility there. And out the back there. Vent set up right here across the dash to the other side here. An AM, FM, and satellite radio with gesture control right there. I got greedy and went for four swipes. Didn't work. Okay. There is. Uh, app connect on this guy Android Auto Apple CarPlay and mirror link I'm gonna turn this fan speed down a little bit There's capacitive touch here so I can raise and lower this fan speed with that Android Auto Apple CarPlay and mirror link are all done wirelessly in this car You do also have wireless charging down here on that pad right there two USB-C connections right there as well That are also backlit so you can see them at night and there is a 12 volt charger port right there And just flip that guy open right there now the cool thing about this wireless charging, I can charge my phone in the case right there. If I have a pop socket on there though, game off, it doesn't work. Backlit shifter right there, it's kind of hard to see, there's sunlight shining right on it right there, but it is a backlit shifter so you can see that at night. Uh, and then you also have your push button start right here and your electronic parking brake, I just lift up on that to activate and then I push down on the brake and then push down on that guy to release. My drive modes are right here. I have snow mode. I also have eco, normal, sport, and custom, which I can tweak right here on the screen, or I can push this button and change them and save some fingerprints on that touch screen. Most people are gonna do eco or normal, especially with today's gas prices the way they are now. You do also have off-road and off-road custom. Off-road custom is gonna allow me to tweak these things here and change between normal and sport Actually, it's not doing it right now, but because uh, I've done something here. Uh, it's a mode that I'm in, but you're able to tweak the different aspects of the drive. Your backup camera. 
trajectory steering is part of that right there. I can turn the wheel left, I can turn the wheel right. And the yellow line shows where I'm headed, the green line shows straight back, and the red line shows where my bumper is. Also, I have park distance control here, which also brings up the rear view camera on command, and it also brings up these park sensor setups here, front and rear. Um, again, that trajectory steering, left and right, front and back, uh, for the uh, red and the green there. And I can turn that guy off, and that also turns my sensors off. Up above here, I do have a home link mirror with home link connect subscription included. I can tell that because I have the four buttons set up, three buttons for garage door memory, a fourth button for Bluetooth, digital compass over here, and it is an auto dimming mirror. That's not a standard item, so you want to make sure that you get that on yours if you're looking for that. In a uh, LED light above the uh, vanity mirror on this side, same with this side over here, and there's a look up right here. There's a look at that power sunshade and that power sliding sunroof. Carnet buttons are all right here. Carnet's free for five years. Your information, roadside assistance and emergency services button. There's a look at that wind, that uh, sunshade going back. The pop-up windscreen right here and the panoramic sunroof. Very nice. The seats are upholstered nicely here. They're upholstered this direction now instead of what they were in 2021 going this way. The armrest does have storage in there too. Nice deep cup holders here. They're kind of stadium seating set up here. So you have one cup that sits up higher than the other there to accommodate two cups with lids if you're going through the drive through And you have this little storage bin right here as well. Let's take a look at the back seat. And before we do that, I don't think I went over the seat adjustments here. It's power lumbar here, forward and back, up and down, uh, or call all controlled here, and then the seat back adjusts there. The passenger seat is gonna be a manually adjusted seat. This car comes in at 36,230. This one's already reserved and sold. So I can't sell you this one, but I can get you one ordered. Or if we have one in the pipeline, you can reserve that. But right now I only have two gray ones in the pipeline. Extras on this one, that Oryx white pearl paint, 395. I don't know if that's gonna show up on this window sticker here. There you go, 395 for that, uh, right there. And then down below, the auto dimming home link mirror, 375 and 160 for the uh, bumper dillo. Here's a look at the back, back doors and back seats here. These seats are 60-40 split. They'll slide forward and back. The premium stitch continues back here. Contrast stitch in the arm pad. It's trimmed out in leatherette. There's a look at the uh, contrast stitch on the seats. Car seat hookups here and also over there. Fold down armrest right here in the middle. That's squishy yet firm. And it's also a pass through by pushing that button right there. Now that seat folds down, you still got two seats for car seats here and you can still have a pass through through the middle. Steel plate in the back of that seat there. Also in the backs of these here, this strap here you can pull to fold the seats down. You just click in place just like that. Steel plate on these as well. Top tether hookups on all three seats all the way across. I can pull this strap to release this seat and move it back up. I can also use that to recline the seat. As I climb in here, there's a look at my vents right here. I have this rotary dial to control those there. The armrests look through to the front. Instrument cluster, center console right there. And then back here, vents for your passengers. One USB-C connection back here that's also backlit and a 12 volt charger port as well. Ridiculous amounts of leg room right here. This car, if you're looking to downsize your SUV to get a more fuel, fuel or more economical um, SUV, this one's gonna be right at 30 MPGs. The seat slides forward and slides back, just like that. Another good look at the socks there. Magazine pocket here and over here. And I have easily six inches of knee space and I was just sitting in that seat. There's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. Dome lights off to the side, there's side lights on the back. That door panel again. Let's take a look at the back, the, uh, back hatch. These are 19 inch alloy wheels, very nice. There's a look at the bumper dillo plate on the back. And now for 2022, you have a power lift gate. Here's a look through from the back to the front. There's a look up at the, uh, the uh, sunroof there again and look through from the back seat. These seats will fold flat with seat pulls back here as well. So I showed you how they fold down up there. There's a seat pull on this side. I just pull on that guy, that seat will go down. I just push it and click it in place. Same with this side over here, pull, and that seat will just push down and click it in place. A bag hook is stowed over here on the side. You do have that. 
and then over here you have an LED trunk light that's hidden over here and also a 12 volt charger port right there very nice this one here didn't come with floor mats so that's going to be an extra charge some of them some of the cars are coming without floor mats that's not uncommon here's a look at that floor there that's a removable floor and there is your spare tire set up right there and also the jack apparatus right there right here your front license plate we put that on on request and here's a look at that power lift gate now this car was an ordered car they ended up getting a different version of the Tiguan instead of this one. So this one was available and it actually got reserved uh, still before it landed by someone else. They picked that up. That's why it doesn't have floor mats. Um, they didn't order it with this one. They wanted to keep keep the cost down a little bit. So they ordered it without floor mats. Now, this car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. That includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also... If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a third year of free maintenance as well, free of charge. That's a local deal only. That's at my dealership only. Also, if you do buy from me, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.